In this presentation, we will obtain relation between different Fourier coefficients and for this, I will first write down trigonometric Fourier series expansion. We already know trigonometric Fourier series expansion is equal to A0 plus summation n equal to 1 to infinity a n multiplied to cos n omega naught t plus b n multiplied to sine n omega naught t. This is the trigonometric Fourier series expansion where a naught, a n and b n are the Fourier coefficients. I will also write complex exponential Fourier series expansion. According to this expansion, we can write signal xt as summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity cn e power jn omega naught t. And here the coefficient is cn. And we are interested in finding out the relation between a naught a n b n and cn. And for this purpose, we will modify trigonometric Fourier series expansion. We already know cos x can be written as e power jx plus e power minus jx divided by 2 and sin x can be written as e power jx minus e power minus jx divided by 2j. So in place of cos n omega naught t, we will have e power jn omega naught t plus e power minus jn omega naught t divided by 2 and in place of sin n omega naught t we will have e power jn omega naught t minus e power minus jn omega naught t divided by 2j because here n omega naught t is equal to x and here also n omega naught t is equal to x. So we will use this result and we will have a naught plus summation n equal to 1 to infinity inside the bracket a n divided by 2 e power j n omega naught t plus e power minus j n omega naught t plus b n divided by 2 j e power j n omega naught t minus e power minus j n omega naught t. In place of b n divided by 2 j, we may write minus j b n divided by 2. I will explain why. We have b n divided by 2 j. I will multiply j in numerator as well as in denominator. So we have j b n in numerator and in denominator we have twice of j square. j square is equal to minus 1 so we have minus j b n divided by 2. So let's quickly write down minus j b n divided by 2 in place of b n divided by 2 j minus j b n divided by 2 e raised to power j n omega naught t is common. So in next step we have a naught plus summation n equal to 1 to infinity inside the bracket a n minus j b n divided by 2 e raised to power j n omega naught t is common e raised to power minus j n omega naught t is also common. So we have a n plus j b n divided by 2 e power minus j n omega naught t. Now let's say a n minus j b n divided by 2 is equal to c n and therefore this a n plus j b n will become c minus n. So in next step we have a naught plus summation n equal to 1 to infinity c n e power j n omega naught t plus summation n equal to 1 to infinity c minus n e power minus j n omega naught t. Now we are moving towards the most important part of this lecture. Let's assume m is equal to minus n. 
this will affect this part of the expansion we have a naught plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity cn e power jn omega naught t plus summation m is equal to minus infinity to minus 1 because m is equal to minus n and therefore we have m is equal to minus infinity to minus 1 in place of c minus n we will have cm and here we will have e power jm omega naught t the important thing is to understand the range of summation i will explain it in a different way you can see a naught is there this means we are talking about n equal to 0 and from here we have n equal to 1 let's say this is 1 so we have n equal 1 to n equal to infinity and from here we have m equal to minus infinity to minus 1 so we are covering minus infinity to minus 1 discrete instance let's say this is minus 1 so we are covering minus infinity to minus 1 and we already have 1 to infinity and n equal to 0 0 is somewhere here so we are talking about minus infinity to infinity and if you see the complex exponential Fourier series expansion you will find we have summation minus infinity to infinity cn e power jn omega naught t so we already have a naught which is going to give us c naught and from here we have summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity excluding n equal to zero therefore including all these three we have the complex exponential Fourier series expansion n equal to minus infinity to infinity cn e power jn omega naught t and from here cn is equal to a n minus j b n divided by 2 and c naught is equal to a naught from here now we will summarize what we have obtained c naught is equal to a naught cn is equal to 1 over 2 a n minus j b n so whenever we have a naught a n and b n given we can easily obtain c naught and c n now we will focus on obtaining a naught a n and b n when c naught and c n are given the first relation will remain same a naught will be equal to c naught now we will focus on the second relation and for this we will focus on cn which is the complex coefficient and as it is complex it will have two different parts the first one is the real part the real part of cn and the second one is the imaginary part the imaginary part of cn now we will equate this with this relation here and we will have we will have 1 over 2 a n minus 1 over 2 j b n equal to real part of c n plus j imaginary part of c n and as we already know the real part on the right hand side is going to be same as the real part on the left hand side we will have real part of c n equal to 1 over 2 a n and from here we can see a n is equal to twice of real part of c n and also the imaginary part on the right hand side will be same as the imaginary part on the left hand side therefore imaginary part of c n will be same as minus 1 by 2 b n from here we can get b n it is equal to minus to imaginary part of cn so we have the final result we have an equal to twice of real part of cn and bn it is equal to minus twice of imaginary part of cn so if we have c naught and cn we can easily obtain a naught an and bn so remember these relationships they are very important in the next presentation we are going to solve one question based on the relations we have obtained 
So this is all for this lecture. See you in the next one.